so you're training with him. Are you like kicking his butt in workouts? Or if he starts kicking your butt, do you get worried or you don't care because Grant used to kick your butt in workouts? I I really don't care about that. That was never like, just because I was getting destroyed in workouts, I that was never a problem because I knew that I would race above that. Um, more so, it's the fact that I want to just grow in my training situation. Like I, I want to finish workouts. I want to, uh, you know, get a bigger aerobic base. I don't want workouts to be cut short. Like that's not how a professional should see their whole career, you know? So it's, I mean, it's one thing to do it for a couple of years when you're, when you're developing, but I'm developing <laughs> at this point. So in the fall, you're coaching yourself the first time you're writing your training maybe ever. And one of the things you say you start doing is double thresholds, which have become very popular because Mike Smith's guys do them. The Inga Brixons do them. Where did you get the idea? What made you, what made that appeal to you uh, is something you wanted to experiment with? Um, I, I, I think that the idea of building my aerobic base and having a way of um, it not being all at once and not being destroyed by it was was very interesting um, because I've always hand I've, my whole career has been strength oriented at University of Portland with Bowerman and it's like I finding a new way to do strength to get even more volume when I when I really didn't get enough volume at uh, at Bowerman or or when I did I was really tired um, to to do a seventy thirty five meant a lot every day because the workouts are so difficult. And with this double threshold thing, it, it just from reading about it and from talking to people, it seemed, you know, I'm someone who likes to try new things. I, I'm very stubborn in a lot of ways, but I'm, when I want to try something new and change, I'm very stubbornly committed to trying to change that too. Where did you read about it? Um, my friend, George Kelly sent, sent me, and I'm going to pronounce his name wrong, but Morris Bakken, Bakken. Um, so I, he'd also read his book. Um, and so we kind of worked on it together and I didn't just do threshold training. You know, I, I, I would, I started the first two weeks with threshold training and then I implemented some of Jerry's, um, short speed work on the end of that threshold training where he would do 200 short rest, 300 short rest. And then occasionally I would throw in, um, like an eight, four, four with this high volume stuff. And then when I went down to Mexico with, with Katie, my girlfriend, we hit up a, a, a track workout where um, I did a, a Bowerman, a staple Bowerman workout down there too, and just to see what my fitness was. So it wasn't just all threshold training, though it was the majority of my training in December. You said something about a 70-35. What, what is that? Um, it's 70 minutes in the morning, 35 in the afternoon. That's that's what I meant. Yeah, I thought maybe you did, but I just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, if someone who isn't like acquainted with that wouldn't understand. But these days, I'm 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 kind of experimenting with like sixty sixty, where I'm doing sixty in the morning, sixty afternoon, and I, I feel better doing this at the moment because that that ten minutes in between sixty minutes and seventy um, somehow makes me a lot more tired than running like a sixty minutes and then stopping there and then having. Um, a lot more time between my run and 60 minutes in the afternoon. These are just your easy runs though? Yeah, these are just easy runs. Well, one of the things Jerry's known for is the workouts are very hard. And a lot of the time it's essentially, hey, here's the workout for everyone. And if you can keep up, great. And if you can't finish, you know, it's kind of tough. Like, do you think that's, is that your experience? And also like when you're working out with Grant and Mo, I mean, Mo has medaled at multiple championships. Grant's run 1246. Are you getting spit out the back on some of those workouts? And how does that feel? Yeah, well, I was getting spit out on the back because these workouts are so, um, so difficult. Jerry's known for is this is the workout and them being notoriously hard, right? And uh, it's like, this is what we're doing. Everybody, like, this is what it takes. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry truly believes, like, you have to run this split. He has a lot of faith in his, his training, as he should. You have to run the split if you want to be a meddler, right? And so I ended up being in a lot of situations running as far as I could in a split or 
changing um, how far I would go in the middle of a workout so that I could finish the workout. Um, these things that I had to kind of learn on my own. And, and Jerry, to his credit, like learned to kind of respect how I went about the workout. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that they, their workouts sometimes were outside of my fitness level. I, maybe I would come in uh, with five days off or something and they would be ready to roll. The workout wasn't changed for that, you know, and I had to kind of do um, what I thought was right that day. So it's going to be nice, even work with Mike with three weeks or something, you know, I, I, he will adjust the workout and make me um, see that I'm, I'm making progress. Yeah. I guess like the way Jerry operates, like, were you, were you cool with that? Like, okay, I can understand, you understand his reasoning. Like you got to run this split. And if I can't do it, I can't do it. Or were you kind of like, man, I wish it was a little more tailored towards me. No, no, no. I think, I truly think when you are 23 um, and um, you do have to just send it, man. There's a point, part of the reason why I really liked Jerry coming out of college um, and still like Jerry is he, we had a conversation walking around Nike and he said, you're 23, like now's the time to see how far you can take it. Like I'm not, I'm going to coach. It's going to take you as far to, I'm going to show people how far they can take themselves. And that was what I wanted. And, and the same, the same, and it's what I want now. It's the same reason why I'm leaving Bowerman because I, I still want to see how far I can take it and sending it in these workouts. I think I, I still want to do, but I want it to be, <laughs> Um, sent in a way where I, I'm still progressing, you know, I'm not just hanging, I, these workouts are for me or, or it's closer to where, I, where I'm at. That's how I feel. Yeah. When you say you were a sideshow within Bowerman, do you mean you're sort of like the workouts weren't designed for you or just overlooked in general? Well, I, I think that sounds a little, um, petty. I don't think sideshow is the right thing because I, I definitely always felt like I was part of the team, but on, but when it came to racing and when it came to, um, I guess publicity and just chances, you know, Grant Fisher is getting, um, more chances to race in the diamond league and Mo is getting more chances to race in the diamond league. And I've always felt like I can be there if I just get that chance. Um, and so I, I felt like I need to get, put myself in a situation where I can prove that. Yeah. I mean, I guess the argument people, you haven't run as fast as them. The diamond league doesn't want you. Right. Like, yeah. But right. then I think that's where you come back to the workouts, right? Like not, not every runner can just max out every workout. So if that's too much for you, I think it does hurt your development as a runner. If it's the workouts designed for Grant and Mo on that day and you can't do it, you're adapting on the fly. I think one, you still may be able to beat them in a race, but it's going to hurt your development. Is do, Did you find that to be the case? Is that what you're finding now working with a different coach? Well, it's too early to tell, For first of all. I've only been four weeks, but I, I've liked it so far. But um, I think when you're really young, you should see how far. Like, you just, I, I'm really glad I would push myself and send it in those workouts. Um, but as I, you know, I'm 30 and you know, some of these speed workouts might not be the smartest thing for me to do. Um, but I know myself well enough that when I see uh, someone really fast coming up on me, I'm going to dig a little deeper and try and try and do it. And sometimes that's not the best thing to do as you get older. Um, so I don't really think my development was hurt, but I do think my future could have been had, had I stayed in this situation. 